up, uh, you want to take us off and introduce our Bay State Roller Derby Brawlers? Certainly, skating in black for Bay State Roller Derby Brawlers. Number 1112, B.F. Skinner. Number 121, Dr. Emhitz Brown. Number 1212, Biscuits and Gravy. Number 13, Hydrogen Bomb. Number 14, Molly Walnuts. Number 15, Burstin Bubbles. Number 16, 32, Swedish Meat Brawl. Number 22, Narwhal. Number 255, Hexadecimate. Number 33, Double Dog Daria. Number 713, Allison Wonderslam. Number 76, Stone Fox. And number 7897, Unholy Ship. Bay State is bench coached by Polytechnic, Crustacean, and Ace of Aches. And for our New Hampshire Roller Derby All Stars, we have 1 4, Pixie Bruiser. Number 237, Creepin' It Wheel. Number 247, Stormy Heather. Number 33, Hannibal Rector. Number 36, Fearless. Number 4, Emily Deckerson. Number 40, Penalty Bex. Number 426, Ripley. <laughs> Number 452, Mackenzie Phillips. Number 52, Terror Nova. Number 6, Death Star. Number 70, Jaeger. Number 731, Kim Possible. Number 80, Rad. And coaching for New Hampshire today, we have Jagged Little Kill, Hardcore, and Two Pack Shocker. All right, and we're getting in. This is game number eight of the weekend. We have seen sanctioned play from JRDA, MRDA, and WFTDA all here in Dover, New Hampshire at the Dover Ice Arena. We have three teams from each group, all sanctioned and all really competitive matchups. It's really been a fun weekend to watch so far. Oh yeah, especially that uh, if you watched the previous game or not, we had a juniors game. It was New England Ski Triots versus Rochester area junior roller derby. And that was a that was a fun game to watch. Juniors are always super fun. They're always so energetic and excited. Yeah, certainly. And the previous game, I believe the juniors now switching to the to the WIFTA group, right? As you were saying, some of the junior coaches having to skate up and change the uniforms. Yep, yep. In fact, uh, skating for New Hampshire, we have Mackenzie Phillips, who also coaches Skate Triots, and then uh, the coach for New Hampshire, Tupac Shocker, also is a coach for the Skate Triots. So a really interesting combination of leagues here at this tournament this weekend. Has made for a really fun weekend for everybody to come out. Great turnout we've heard all weekend. The stands have been full. The crowd has been here. Casco Bay putting on a fantastic tournament. We have all sorts of things in house this weekend, including a wood fired pizza truck that is up and running. Oh, that pizza is it's so, so good. good. <laughs> so, if you're looking for something to eat, go right out that bay door and grab some stone fired pizza. And for our first jam, jamming for New Hampshire, we have 5 2 Terra Nova. And Taking lead jammer status for base stay, one two one. Dr. M hits Brown. Nova still working up against the pack at the front there. Looks like Nova has a tripod to beat. And Nova is out of the pack, now eligible to score. Meanwhile, Dr. Emmett's Brown doing that first scoring pass. Just Pixie Bruiser to beat and makes it through, calls off the jam. Looks like Bay State picked up four points from that jam. Bring your score after this first jam to four Bay State to New Hampshire. Headed into jam number two on the Centris Digital Jammer line. We have number 426 Ripley up against number 255 Hexadecimate. Yeah, 
and both jammers hitting either team's team of blockers, but it's going to be Hexadecimate that breaks through and picks up lead status for Bay State. Hexadecimate through and on their first scoring pass. Ripley able to clear their initial and Ripley's going to come back around for points. And Hexadecimate calling off the jam. Ripley had hit the pack. Ripley able to pick up three points. Hexadecimate th three as well. So that's a 3-3 jam, no change of differential. Takes Bay State to seven, New Hampshire five. Coming up now, we have four, five, twos. Mackenzie Phillips jamming for New Hampshire. And number seven, six, Stone Fox for Bay State. That is the whistle. Both jammers off. Stone Fox trying to find a way through. Oh, and Smacky on the outside, picking up New Hampshire's first lead jammer status of the game. Stone Fox still fighting that New Hampshire wall at the front. Pixie, last block blocker to beat. And Stone Fox is out, eligible to score now. Smacky picking up that first four. And calling off the jam there, leaving Bay State scoreless for that jam, bringing our score following that to Bay State 7, New Hampshire 9. And that is a lead change, folks. Let's look at the clock. It is almost noon uh, on a Sunday. All this weekend we've seen incredibly close games. That's meant a lot of lead changes. So that is a fun time for you at home. On the line, heading into jam number four, We have Death Star and Allison Wonderslam. Death Star, though, quick hammer through the outside. Death Star has picked up lead and is coming around for her first scoring trip. Allison Wonderslam has also cleared her initial. Death Star's picking up points, gets through the pack, calls it off, quick, easy, four and out. That's gonna be good for this jam and continue to push their lead forward. New Hampshire now leading by six, 13 to seven over Bay State. Coming up now for our next jam, we have 5-2 Terra Nova and 1-2-1, one, one, Dr. M hits for around. Both jammers are off. We see some offense there from Blitzy Borden against the Bay State wall. Not able to make an opening for Terranova here. Doc Brown fighting a tripod up the front. Terranova making lead jammer status for New Hampshire. Doc Brown also out of the pack now. Nova hitting the pack here. Pushing through and calling it off right before Doc Brown can also hit. We'll see if any points were picked up by Bay State there. Looks like three for New Hampshire, none for Bay State. That brings our score to Bay State seven, New Hampshire 16. Yep, New Hampshire doing a good job putting points up and ending the jam before any damage is done. That's going to be a winning strategy if they can continue that for the next 55 minutes left in this game. On the line, Ripley and Hexadecimate. We saw this matchup earlier already once. That ended with Hexadecimate putting some points up on the board. We'll see if that happens again. Ripley and Hexadecimate both being recycled, but a Bay State blocker headed to the box along with a New Hampshire blocker. So evenly matched eight skaters on the track. And it's gonna be Ripley that comes out with lead for New Hampshire. Hexadecimate still trying to make their initial scoring trip. And Ripley in the pack. Bay State defenders doing a good job of preventing the pass, but Ripley finds an inside line and calls the jam. That's gonna be good for four points. And I believe, yep, also prevented any points scored on the Bay State side. Another four points, New Hampshire goes up to 20. Bay State has remained at seven, I believe, for the past three jams.
New Hampshire starting this jam down two blockers. Here's Bebe time out. Yeah, New Hampshire is going to be starting the next jam. Down two blockers. Bay State down one. Officials are conferring real quickly, making sure everything is good. Yeah, when there's an OTO, and I, I have to remember that when they're all staring at me, it's really that they're staring at the scoreboard behind yes, me. It's, it's, I didn't actually do anything wrong. We didn't but it's do always anything. intimidating when you have a whole bunch of refs and NSOs all stare straight at you, <laughs> like, <laughs> even if it's right over your shoulder. What did I do? It wasn't me, I swear. Take this moment to remind everyone in-house that there are merch booths. All of the leagues are bringing merch, and they will be located back in the vendor row at the back of the arena. Uh, there's also Casco Bay merch booth, which will have the Casco Bay Roller Derby merch, as well as Battle of Bunker Hill specific merch. The quantity of that merch is limited, so if you're wanting a cool t-shirt with the Battle of Bunker Hill logo, go ahead and get that now. And if you want your name on it, they have vinyl and heat pressing. Final names, heated and pressed. You can add your name and or your number to your Battle of Bunker Hill merch for some custom goodness. Your name or number is also peeling off your jersey for your armbands. They can help out proceeds from final and heat pressing benefit Casco Bay Roller Derby. Yeah, I've been to a lot of tournaments where they have uh, skate services, but never uniform services. That's quite, that's quite the offering here from our Casco Bay host. They totally should. Getting ready now, lining up to jam. We have four, five, twos, Mackenzie Phillips, and seven, and six. Stone with Fox. Stone Fox, only two blockers to beat. Oh, Stone Fox out of there, taking lead jammer status for Bay State. Smacky has stashed the star for New Hampshire, pushing against this Bay State wall. And Smacky, just one blocker to beat. And out of there, now eligible to score for New Hampshire. Meanwhile, Stone Fox trapped at the back by all well, three currently New Hampshire blockers. One of them sent to the box. Stone Fox calling off of that jam. You see, looks like one point picked up each. So that brings our score now to uh, Bay State 8, New Hampshire 21, with 23 minutes left in the half. On the line, heading into jam number eight, Death Star and Allison Wonderslam. Again, pretty consistent jam ro rotation so far this game. Both jammers up against the opposing blockers. New Hampshire, though, a blocker down. So that's going to give Allison Wonderslam the advantage. But New Hampshire doing a great job holding Allison back despite them being a blocker down. Crash course penalty box has cleared, though. Ten skaters on the track. Allison Wonderslam continued to try to make it past those blockers. Jaeger doing a good job of continuing to recycle, as well as Fearless. Death Star finally able to make it out of the pack. She's going to take her first scoring trip through. Allison still stuck in her initial. And they're through the middle line. Four points up for Death Star. Death Star trying to push forward, but Bay State doing a good job of rotating in front of her. Death Star threw again, another four points up on the board. Successful star pass to BF Skinner on Bay State side. BF Skinner able to escape the pack and become eligible for scoring. Death Star sees that, calls off the jam before either jammer makes it back to the pack to complete a scoring trip. No points that, that trip, but that is an eight nothing jam for New Hampshire, taking them up to 29, 21 points above Bay State, who currently sit at eight. And that is a Bay State timeout. 
Well, that sounds like a great opportunity to remind everyone about our penalty box sponsor. Crash Course helps busy roller derby athletes increase strength, conquer self-doubt, and create the habits of high performers to become all-stars and MVPs on the track and in life. We'd love for you to join our community where we're constantly working to support each other, lift each other up, and inspire each other to crush goals. You can join us on Facebook. Check out the group Chrissy Crash with two Ks on Facebook. Or if you want free specific derby workouts and athlete mindset tips, you can level up. Check them out on Instagram. It has the same account handle, Chrissy Crash with two Ks. At Crash Course, life is a contact sport. Win. Also give a shout out to our Jammer Line sponsor, Centris Digital. Centris is an internet marketing agency that is focused on fostering your success. They put emphasis on maximizing marketing potential, elevating traffic reach, and increasing revenue. At Centris, our success is defined by your success, and we work relentlessly to provide marketing services based on collaboration and integrity. Visit them online at www.centris.digital. And jamming now, we have a 5 2 Terra Nova for New Hampshire and 1 2 1 Dr. Emmett Brown for Bay State. Looks like Doc Brown got lead jammer status, but Nova was ahead of them on the track, so Doc Brown called off that jam. Pretty smart strategy. I do say so myself. Yeah, they weren't interested in the race. They said, let's just get off the track and reset for the new one. Clearly, this is now a, a speed test, and uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to set up and try to make points a little easier. No shame in calling off the jam and starting fresh. Ripley and Hexadecimate back up at it again. This time it's Hexadecimate out in front with lead for Bay State. Ripley still finding it difficult to clear the initial. Hexadecimate's going to come in for points now. Hexadecimate taking the inside line, stepping over a couple blockers and moving out to be able to pick up all four sets up for a second trip. Ripley having a little bit of an error with the helmet cover removed has prevented enough distraction for Hexadecimate to come through for another four and set up for a third scoring trip. Ripley still with the star stash, trying to push Bay State forward. Able, just barely able to clear the initial, but gets knocked to the inside and recycled all the way to the back. Ripley's gonna have to go at it again. Hexadecimate clears the third trip for three more points, taking them up to 11 to nothing for that jam, calling it off. Takes Bay State to 19 to New Hampshire's Roller Derby 29, and just like that, we're at a 10 point game. Another matchup we've seen a couple times now for 5 2 Smacky and 7 6 Stone Fox. Both jammers off. Smacky making it through on the outside, picking up lead. Jammer status for New Hampshire. Stone Fox still fighting against this New Hampshire wall at the front. Just a tripod now, one New Hampshire blocker going to the box. Just blitz to beat for Stone Fox, and Stone Fox is out. Uh-oh, New Hampshire has two blockers in the box now. Smacky taking a hit to the outside and calling off the jam there. Picking up two points for New Hampshire, though, with that jam, and keeping Bay State scoreless. Score now is Bay State 19, New Hampshire 31. So Death Star headed to the line, this time up against Alice in Wonderslam. Death Star, though, is two blockers down. It's going to give Alice in Wonderslam the advantage. Death Star hits the pack and up, up against the full complement of blockers is not able to clear. Alice in Wonderslam makes a nice easy trip through the pack, picks up lead. 
not for lack of effort, the Death Star continuing to try to clear the initial, but is going to need some help from her friends as they re-enter from the Crash Course penalty box. Meanwhile, Alice in Wonderslam through the pack for four points, sets up for a second scoring trip. Death Star pushing through, just barely gets knocked to the outside by Swedish Meat Brawl. That's enough time for Allison to clear for another four. Bit of a big hit in the middle of the field and a penalty picked up after a star pass to Fearless. Fearless headed to the box. That puts Allison on a power jam, now set up for a fourth scoring trip. Bay State lining up for the offense, pushes towards the middle. Allison's gonna take the outside. Oh, but picks up a forearm penalty. So Allison's gonna head to the box and get a bit of a switch out here with Fearless. As soon as Allison hits, Fearless will be released. Good timing by Allison there. Fearless sat for the full 30. Uh, that means Allison's gonna need to sit for 30 as well. Big hits from Bay State Brawlers out in the pack trying to prevent Fearless from getting through, but that is enough for Fearless to make it. Cleared the initial though. We have a timeout from New Hampshire and a tied game. Yeah, 12 points up on the board from Bay State. They're tied at 31. I was waiting to see. I see our jam refs conferring. I didn't know if there was another point going up on the board or not. A lot of uh, confusion there as multiple jammers going to the box, a start pass, a uh, bit of a timeout being called on one side. Takes a minute to collect everyone's thoughts and make sure the right points go up on the board. Oh, yeah, it can be a very chaotic game at times, Roller Derby. <laughs> Props to these officials for being able to keep track of everything. It's a bit like, I don't know if you've ever worked in food service either, but, it, you know, the, the kitchen always gets slammed at one time. It's never a constant stream of orders. That's never no, what you like to no. see. You, everything happens all at once. Yep, every, the, the penalty box gets filled. There's a weird penalty in the middle that nobody's ever seen before. Uh, somebody's wearing the wrong helmet cover, like all that. It's always one moment, and it's never individual moments. Everybody's got to slam all the drama into the same five seconds. Yep. We have a power jam start here for New Hampshire for 5 2 Terra Nova. And Nova is off. A little bit of offense there from Blitzy Borden in the front. Working against this Bay State tripod, trying to stop Nova from getting lead jammer status before Allison Wonderslam can get out of the box, but Nova has lead jammer status now. Allison hitting the pack here, trying to make that initial pass to be eligible to score. Ooh, little spin move there from Nova. Dodging blockers left and right, and she is through. Allison working against the New Hampshire wall at the back, looking for some help from her friends. And we have a star pass to number one five, burst in bubbles for Bay State. Nova, meanwhile, making another scoring pass there. Burst in bubbles coming up on the pack now. A lot of the Bay State blockers looking to play some offense for bubbles here. And bubbles is through. Nova coming up and making that scoring pass once more, picking up four more for New Hampshire. Pack moving fairly quick here, trying to get out of that apex. Resetting on the straightaway. Bubbles looking to get out, not quite making it. And getting past the deck, picking up four there for Bay State. And Nova finishes that last scoring pass and falls off the jam, picking up. like four more points for New Hampshire and we have a time or official review now for Bay State. 
We'll yeah. wait Tick. and see what this is about and give you guys an update shortly. Yeah, Terra Nova doing a great job putting some agility out on the track. I think this is the part of the game where we start to see some of the strategy get mixed up a little bit. Terra Nova, rather than putting aggression on the blockers trying to navigate around them, uh, her her pack as well, the blockers on the team, also providing some more offense that we've seen so oh, far yes. in the game, and that has added up for some big points on the board this jam. I think the highest scoring jam so far of the game. I believe so, yes. I think we might have had one that was 16. This one turned out to be 15, so. 15 and, yeah, 8 on Bay State side, yep. yep. But really great effort, and uh, looks like both teams having some great awareness of what's going on, some great bench strategy maybe being coached out to the packs to be able to adjust for what's going on. Yeah, it's very, very good uh, adjustments we've seen on both sides, strategy-wise. It does look like our officials are just going to finish conferring about. Well, they do that. I think uh, another one of our sponsors, Saco Bay Physical Therapy, you can find them in their booth in Vendor Village. April, by the way, is Occupational Therapy Month. Occupational therapists and occupational therapy assistants help transform society by not only restoring and improving function in people's lives, but bringing possibilities to life. Our team is proud to empower everyday living. No immediate obvious reaction from either side of the bench. Usually you can try to get an emotional reaction out of the coach, but both teams playing it professional this time. We'll wait for our NSO friends to let us know. So uh, Bay State was looking for a forearm penalty on the white jammer that last jam. There was not enough information that the official saw, so they were not able to call that penalty. So Bay State will not retain that official review. Yep, and jamming now, taking that lead jammer status for Bay State. We have Doc Brown. For New Hampshire, we have a Ripley. Ripley still trying to make that initial pass, fighting against the Bay State blockers here. And Ripley is through. Doc Brown looking to make that first scoring pass. And is through picking up fourth. Uh-oh. Ripley to the box. Looks like Doc Brown has a power jam against just two New Hampshire blockers. New Hampshire's uh, spots in the crash course penalty box are full at the moment. Doc Brown picking up. Or there for eight so far this jam. Just one to beat for Doc Brown, and Doc Brown is out once more. Four more picked up by the state there. Now have Ripley back on the track, looking to get through. Doc Brown hits the out there. Run back by penalty Bex. You know, rip at the front, fighting against a tripod of what appears to be Narwhal. And you see Hydrogen Bomb. Can't unfortunately see their brace, but that is a very sturdy tripod up there. Both jammers trapped right now. And that is the end of our jam. Bay State picking 12 points there. Oh, 16 points there. Bring their score to 55 to New Hampshire's 46 with just under 11 and a half minutes to go. And that is a lead change in Bay State's favor up to 55. Like we said, this whole weekend, just incredibly close derby and so much fun to watch. If you are here in the arena or watching at home, you are definitely getting every minute of your time 
full derby action. This time into jam number 15, Hexadecimate versus Terra Nova. Terra Nova seems to be powering through the inside, and that's good for lead status. They've cleared. Hexadecimate getting recycled. Terra Nova threw for four, but followed closely behind by Dexa Hesa Hexadecimate. Terra Nova sees that and elects to call off the jam. Doesn't want to take it to a race. Terra Nova happy with four points up on the board. Takes New Hampshire to 50, to Bay State's 55. Five point differential heading into jam number 16. Coming up for our next jam, we have 713, Allison Wonderslam, and 452's Mackenzie Phillips. And both jammers are off. Pretty sturdy walls here, not letting either jammer through just yet. Allison trying to look for the inside line there. Not quite able to find it. Neither jammer able to get lead just yet. Oh, Smacky almost out. Hit to the outside. Allison making it out and picking up that lead jammer status. Smacky now also out of the pack. Both jammers eligible to score. And that is the end of that gym. Looks like we have four points picked up by Bay State. Not pretty Hampshire bringing our score to 59 to 50. Yeah, Bay State not liking having to sit behind for the most of the first period. So they're going to want to slowly push forward, picking up another four points and extending that lead out. Looks like this time they're going to field Stone Fox up against Death Star. And Death Star trying the outside line gets bumped out by Bay State and is going to rotate to the end. Try to make it through. Stone Fox getting recycled all the way to the back by Hannibal Rector. Death Star through the pack for lead, setting up for a scoring trip. Death Star scoring points, points, finds a hole on the inside, takes the four. Stone Fox is out and around. Stone Fox looking to make their first scoring pass. Death Star hits the pack and calls, picking up two points. That's good for a six point jam for New Hampshire. No points scored by Bay State that time around. 59 to 56, Bay State leads just three points to separate these teams. Coming up for our next jam, we have 426 Ripley for New Hampshire and 121 Dr. M hits and Brown for Bay State. And both jammers are off. New Hampshire starting with a one blocker deficit, but Hannibal Rector making it onto the track and trying to help with some offense there. Meanwhile, Doc Brown taking the lead jammer status. Looks like Ripley has a stash, the star here. Looking to try and find her way through for that initial pass. Meanwhile, Doc Brown picking up a nice easy four for Bay State. Ripley now out of the pack, eligible to score for New Hampshire. Doc Brown hitting the pack one more time and calling off that jam before Ripley can come up and score. Looks like Doc Brown was able to pick up two more with that last. And bringing their score to 65 to 56. On the line, headed into jam number 19. Hexadecimate and Terra Nova. Five, 
Got a nice pivot line start. Our jammers are going to get a running start. Let's see how they use it. Both of them straight into the pack. Hexadecimate, though, finds an outside line, is pushing through and clears the New Hampshire pack, picks up lead status. Hexadecimate, they're going to come back around for their first scoring trip. Meanwhile, Terra Nova is out and is now eligible to score. Terra Nova on their first scoring trip. Hexadecimate elects to call after picking up three points. Terra Nova not able to make it back. Three more points up on the board for Bay State, taking them up to 68 to New Hampshire's 56. Looks like for our next jam, we're gonna have Smacky once more against Stone Fox. And both jammers are off with that whistle. Both. The Walker cores are at full strength currently, so Jammers uh, really having to work for it. But Stone Fox just won the beat, is able to pick up lead. Jammer set is for Bay State. Smacky now also out of the pack. Both jam. Oh, oh, and we have a wheel on the floor. Here's Smacky lost a wheel. Looking for lost skate parts. Now we begin the skate inventory. Yep. Do you have the bushroom? Do you have the wheel? Do you have the nuts? I think they're Do looking for the a nut. I think they found the wheel. They saw the wheel. The wheels. The wheel's the easy part. Now comes the track skin. Yep. found the nut. Join Casco Bay next weekend, April 20th, that's on Saturday, for an all-gender roller derby tournament. Bangor Area Derby is working to become an MRDA recognized league, and it's Casco Bay's first B-team game. It's a three-game event. First game is Casco Bay versus Bangor Area for the MRDA regulation match. The second game is Flower City Roller Derby versus Banger Area Roller Derby. That's also MRDA regulation. And the third event, Casco Bay's B team's first game up against Flower City. Doors open at 12.30, first whistle at one. Tickets are available at cascobayrollerderby.com. Also, for those of you in-house, I know it is nearing a lunchtime. There's some really, really good uh, wood fire pizza at the food trucks outside. You should definitely go check them out. They're located out the back garage door near the team locker rooms. They have garlic fingers. They have whole and half pizzas, cheese, pepperoni, and my favorite, rosemary apricot. It is phenomenal. I did not go out there yet today, but yesterday they had a dog to pet. That was Mildred Rose. She was so sweet. That was that was the highlight of my day yesterday, apart from all of the amazing derby. It was derby first, then doggo, then rosemary apricot pizza. Yes, yes. And coming up now to jam, we have number six, Death Star, and for Bay State, number seven, one, three, Alice in Wonderland. Death Star making it out of the pack to take Lee Jammer status for New Hampshire here. Alice still fighting, Allison fighting against that New Hampshire wall at the front. Got a little bit of offense here from New Hampshire's number three, six, Fearless, to try and help Death make that first scoring pass. And Death making it through the pack and calling off that jam there. Picking up four points. Brings the score to Bay State 72, New Hampshire 60. Both teams doing a great job keeping almost the entire game within one jam of the score away. No different for jam number 22. 12 points separate these teams. On the line, Ripley and Dr. Emmett Brown.
Both jammers find the other team's blockers right in front of them, but it's going to be Dr. Emmett Brown out with lead, followed closely behind by Ripley. We do have a foot race. This time, the Dr. Emmett Brown is in front and looks like they are going to attempt the score. Hits the pack, makes the call. That I believe that was good enough before New Hampshire hit. Yes, Dr. Emmett Brown is going to pick up two points for that effort. Another two points on, up on the board, taking Bay State to 74 to New Hampshire 60. Coming up now to jam for New Hampshire, we have number 52, Terranova, and for Bay State, 255, Hexadecimate. Both jammers hitting the walls here. Hex able to slip through, though, and they have lead jammer status for Bay State. Nova hot on their heels, though. These walls moving pretty quick around the track. Both jammers hitting the pack. Hex calling it off. We'll see. Looks like Hex was able to... Ooh, Hex was not able to pick up any points. And New Hampshire picked up one. Bringing our score now to Bay State 74, New Hampshire 61. Yeah, it does look like the game is shifting to a higher speed, more, higher agility game rather than trying to force the points through. Seeing that pack speed up definitely is bringing the score totals per jam down. But thus far, still a close amount of points between these two teams. Stone Fox and Mackenzie Phillips out on the track jamming. They start, uh, New Hampshire started with two blockers in the box, now one down. The Crash Course Penalty Box only has one New Hampshire blocker in. This time though, it's Stone Fox picking up lead for Bay State. It's Mackenzie Phillips getting recycled to the back and trying again. Now Stone Fox is in their first scoring trip. Oh, and Stone Fox picking up a back block, headed to the penalty box. They had lead when they entered, so this jam is going to run to time. <laughs> and, now, and now we have Mackenzie Phillips headed to the box as well. Our jammers are gonna trade out. Stone Fox is gonna get a little bit of power jam time for herself as well. Stone Fox re-entering. Bay State lined up to provide some offense. Let's see what happens here. Stone Fox doing a little bit of a fake out. Tries for the inside. New Hampshire sees what's happening though and rotates in. Bay State cycling forward to help with some offense. So Mackenzie Phillip has now re-entered the track and has removed the helmet cover. Stone Fox, though, in the Star Pass confusion, found an opportunity to clear, but picks up another penalty and heads back to the box. That's not good. That's quite a full penalty box. We have a blocker and a jammer in for Bay State, blocker in for New Hampshire. And the jam runs to time. No, oh no, sorry, four points picked up there by Bay State, no points picked up by New Hampshire, but more importantly, the next half is going to start with a jammer and a blocker in the box for Bay State. New Hampshire has a, jam, a blocker standing. Final score at the half, Bay State 78, New Hampshire 61. I don't know if, uh... I'm sure Stream couldn't see it. I don't know if anyone else in house watched it, but Stone Fox did the coolest entry to the penalty box where she dropped to a knee and slid in. It was just so fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I, it would be cool if you got uh, seconds deducted for style points in the penalty you box. You should. That I would, feel like if you can enter in style, they should take time off of your penalty. That'll be for a non-sanctioned regulation game. We'll do some house rules and we'll do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I believe just a brief intermission. I think we're trying to make up time, so we'll see you back here shortly for the second half of Bay State versus New Hampshire with the sanctioned play.
And with just a minute remaining, I have exciting news from our Casco Bay host friends. And if you check Casco Bay's socials or the socials for Battle of Bunker Hill, it is officially announced Battle of Bunker Hill 2025 will take place right back here at the Dover Ice Arena, April 11th through the 13th. Join us right back here for another incredible weekend. A big thank you to our hosts, Casco Bay, and we are equally as excited to be back here one year from today, April 11th through the 13th, right here in Dover, New Hampshire. Oh yeah, it's going to be exciting. Hopefully, uh, here from now we're going to see even even more awesome derby. Book your tickets now, because the tickets Can you have your been... Tickets now? I believe so. No, no, no tickets. Tickets not on sale yet. Just. Book your travel now to be sure to be here because honestly, this has been some of the best derby matchups I've seen in quite a while. A really well executed tournament from all aspects. I'm incredibly grateful to be here. Thank you to our hosts. Thank you to all our refs and NSOs for some awesome derby weekend fun. Yeah, and uh, thank you to all of our skaters just for. Uh giving us some awesome roller derby to watch this weekend. Um, All right, for those of you who were not with us in the first half, Bay State is starting with a jammer and a blocker in the box. New Hampshire has a blocker standing. So Terra Nova out as the first jammer for jam number one of the second period. She is starting on a power jam. Terra Nova, though, being held back by the Bay State. And just as I say that, Terra Nova finding the outside line, grabbing lead status, now on a power jam. But the crash course penalty box has been emptied. The pack, seeing this, has sped up a bit. Terra Nova in the pack on her first scoring trip. Stone Fox now on her initial. Lots of action as both jammers hit the pack. But Terra Nova able to clear for four, followed closely behind by Stone Fox. Pack still cycling forward. Terra Nova's get another, going to get another chance for points. Calls it as she hits the pack. Is going to pick up three points. Three points for Bay State on that pass. Or one point for uh, New Hampshire on that pass. So that's a 5-3 jam. Stone Fox doing a good job holding off a little bit of that damage from the power jam. But Bay State still leads New Hampshire 81 to 66. Coming up for our second jam half, we have Ripley and Dr. M Hits Brown. Both teams starting this jam at full strength. Doc Brown fighting against two of the New Hampshire blockers at the front of the pack there. Oh, and Ripley able to find a spot on the outside, picking up lead jammer status for New Hampshire here. Doc Brown also out of the pack now. Both jammers eligible to score. Ripley hitting the pack here. And calling off the jam. Looks like Ripley picked up two points there. Doc Brown able to pick up three for Bay State, bringing our score to Bay State 84, New Hampshire 68. Can just a 16 point difference between the two teams. We have not really seen that much of a point differential at any point during this game. Death Star and Hexadecimate on the line. All the blockers at the Spectrum Digital, Centrum Digital Jammer line, but it's Hexadecimate that clears and picks up lead, finds that outside line. Meanwhile, Death Star also out and on the track, ready to earn some points. Hexadecimate calling the jam just as Death Star makes it back. Death Star able to pick up two points to Hexadecimate's one. So it's a 2-1 jam for New Hampshire. We have a different person in as a jammer for this jam for New Hampshire. We have a 731 Kim Possible or KP jamming against 76 for Bay State, Stone Fox. And both jabbers are off. KP hitting the Bay State blockers at the front in that tripod. Meanwhile, Stone Fox held back by New Hampshire's four wall here. 
little bit of help from, that appears to be number one and three, Hydrogen Bomb. But KP is able to get out, take lead. Jammer set is for New Hampshire. Meanwhile, Snow Fox cycled back. Trying to make that initial pass still. And Stone Fox out of the path, making that initial pass. KP going to call off the jam after hitting the pack. We will see points-wise any points were picked up by New Hampshire. Not yet seeing the hand by the ref. One for New Hampshire, so that brings our score to base state 85, New Hampshire 71. Allison Wonderslam and Terra Nova lining up at the Centrum Digital Jammer line. Terra Nova able to push through Bay State, and Terra Nova is going to grab lead for New Hampshire. Terra Nova coming through for her first scoring trip, finds it, hole in the middle of the pack, and takes it. That's good for four. Allison Wonderslam setting up for her first scoring trip. Allison Wonderslam, not as successful as Terra Nova approaches the pack, sees an outside and jukes around a final blocker, making an easy four as she bobs and weaves through the pack. That's up to eight. Here comes the third scoring trip. Allison still on her first. Almost the same path. It's going to work. Bay State has been two blockers down, and that has made for an easy three trips for Terra Nova. One more blocker back on the pack from Bay State is going to try to make this a little less easy. But Terra Nova with a big hit there on Burst and Bubbles. Terra Nova able to clear on the outside up to 16 points for Terra Nova. Allison Wonderslam finally able to clear her initial. Terra Nova setting up fifth scoring trip here. Just a bob and weave through the pack and calls. Is that good for four? That's two on that trip for New Hampshire. 18 point jam for Terra Nova in New Hampshire. Four points for Bay State. Takes us to a tie game, 89 all. This one is going to be a nail biter. I can just tell. It's been this way the whole match, and what a fun game. What a treat for us to watch and to call. Oh, yes. Coming up for our next jam, we have 4-2-6, Ripley, and 1-2-1, one, one. Doc M hits Brown. Both jammers coming up against these walls here. See a little bit of offense at the front for New Hampshire from Fearless. And Ripley is out of the pack, picking up lead jammer status for New Hampshire. Meanwhile, Doc Brown still fighting against these New Hampshire blockers here. Cycling back. Ripley making that initial scoring pass. And Ripley picking up four. Doc now also out of the pack, able to score. Some offense here from New Hampshire. And Rip makes it through, calls off the gym. Doc Brown right on her heels. Looks like both jammers able to pick up four points there. Score now is base date 93, New Hampshire 97. That is a lead change in New Hampshire's favor. New Hampshire seen some success at the end of the first period, a little bit of success with changing up the strategy a bit, getting a little bit more agile and fast on the track. And it looks like they've taken that strategy and just put their foot on the gas in the second quarter and they are seeing it work for them. On the line this time, Hexadecimate and Kim Possible. Hexadecimate through, picks up lead for Bay State. Looking to squeeze away the lead that New Hampshire was gaining, but Kim Possible is out as well. KP's gonna come around for their first scoring trip. Hexadecimate in front though, finds a clean line through the inside, picks up four points. KP in the pack now. KP's picking up points. Hexadecimate is on their second scoring trip. Kim Possible on their first. Kim Possible through for four, is going to come back around and meet Hexadecimate. Hexadecimate sees that, decides to call off the jam. That was good for three points that trip. 
taking them up to 100. Both teams over the century mark, but New Hampshire at 101. Just a single point differential between our two teams. And appears we have a timeout for Bay State. Teams taking this time to recollect themselves. And you know, shuffle strategies around. Yeah. You know, Beta, if, if you and I, if I was just paying attention to these games, I would sit here and say that we're incredibly lucky. We must be getting the best games of the weekend. But honestly, all the gameplay the whole weekend has just been so much fun to watch. And this is no different, which makes me that much more excited to be uh, seeing that Casco Bay is able to do this again next year. Because oh, yeah. what an incredible matchup that we've seen all weekend from all the teams. Yes, I'm excited to hopefully come back and not announce, at least watch, because these are some <laughs> these are some amazing games that we've seen all weekend. These teams are taking a bit of a breather. I don't blame them. This has been some very competitive gameplay here. Super fast pace at times as well. All right, lining up now, we have six Death Star and a 76 Stone Fox. And both jammers are off. Oh, Death Star getting hit to the out and cycled back. Meanwhile, Stone Fox at the front there up against the New Hampshire tripod. Stone Fox still fighting. Death Star also. Neither jammer out just yet. And Stone Fox makes it out to take lead jammer status for base state. Death Star with the star stash here. Still trying to make her way out for that initial pass. Wild. Stone Fox picks up four for base state. Jaeger trying to stop Stone Fox there, not able to, and Stone Fox picking up another four. That's still working against these Bay State blockers to try and complete that initial pass while Stone Fox picks up four more. And we have a star pass from Death to number 36, Fearless. Stone Fox going out. Meanwhile, Fear making it through the pack there. Picking up four for New Hampshire. Stone making one more pass and calling off the jam there and bringing our score now to Bay State 112, New Hampshire 105 with a New Hampshire timeout. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I was expecting to see an OR go up, but it wasn't necessarily from uh, the New Hampshire bench, but we'll let them take a team timeout uh, and, you know, just remind everyone that, you know, this is sanctioned play, so... We are past the regionals, Mark, but both of these teams playing for ranking points. Ranking points headed into a closure at the end of July this year for WIFTA. So that's going to lock them in for their seed placements heading into the 2024-2025 season. Uh, sorry, the 2025-2026 season. Still getting the new WIFTA uh, season structure into my brain. But yeah, that, those, those rankings will lock in July and then all based off this play. So we're going to see some really fun and aggressive and strategic play headed into the summer as all the teams are trying to trace their rankings up towards that deadline. Heading to jam number nine on the line, we have Hydrogen Bomb, which I think is the first jam we've seen Hydrogen Bomb. This out, is Hydrogen Bomb's first jam. Up against Terra Nova. Hydrogen Bomb looks like they're going to clear on the out. 
pushing past New Hampshire, and that's it. Good for lead, followed closely behind by Terra Nova. This is quickly going to turn into a race. And Hydrogen Bomb calls off the jam before Terra Nova can make it back. 0-0 zero, zero jam, no change in score. Coming up for our next jam, we have, once again, Doc Brown and Ripley. And both jammers are off. And Doc Brown, just one to beat there at the front of Jaeger. It takes lead members at his four base state. Ripley, meanwhile, fighting through the Bay State blockers, two to beat for Ripley to make that initial pass. Ooh, bit of a tumble there. Everyone is back up and good. And Doc Brown makes that first scoring pass, picking up four for Bay State. And Ripley's out of the pack, able to score now. New Hampshire looking to try and slow down Doc Brown here. Doc Brown makes it through the pack and calls off that jam. Speed. Yep, looks like Doc picked up four more, bringing our score to Bay State 124, New Hampshire 105. Yeah, Bay State doing a good job pushing that lead ahead. 19 points here separate the two teams. On the line, we see Hexadecimate again, this time up against Kim Possible. Bay State moving towards the Centrum Digital Jammer line, putting a bit of a squeeze on New Hampshire. But KP sees a hole on the out and takes it. Oh, but Hexadecimate clears at the same time. It looks like Hexadecimate was able to clear first and grab the lead. Both jammers neck and neck headed back to the pack for points. Hexadecimate electing the call though. Ooh, ooh, bit of a tumble. Everyone's back up. Looks like yeah. everyone's good, everyone's alive. Yeah, but I believe Hexadecimate's gonna pick up a late hit there, last, a penalty there at the end. Oh no, it's a, uh, it's Kim Possible headed to the box at the end of that jam. Zero, zero jam, good call off by Hexadecimate. A little bit of confusion heading into the next jam. And we had some whistles for a clock stop. I'm looking for a signal to see why we stopped the clock. We'll just call it an OTO for the time being. and another New Hampshire blocker headed to the box. So now we have blocker and a jammer in the box for New Hampshire. Womp womp. <laughs> Bay State's gonna start this with a power jam with only three New Hampshire blockers at the front for Stone of Fox. Yeah, a lot of skates fly in there at the end of that jam post whistle blasts. So I think we're just sort of clarifying what happened there at the ends, making sure that everybody is where they're supposed to be, penalty box-wise. With a jammer shuffle. One, two, one is Doc Brown. Doc Brown will be taking this jam for base eight, it appears. The refs are conferring. We're figuring some things out. It looks like New Hampshire will be starting with all four blockers on the track, actually. Friendly reminder for everyone, if you haven't checked out the food trucks, 
There is a Kona ice truck and then the Stone Fire Wood Fire Pizza. That pizza is delicious. You can check them out outside the back garage door near the team locker rooms. Yeah, so our NSO is conferring with our penalty box and our scoreboard. That previous jam, the lineup time had completed. There was a very quick, quick jam and an immediate call off. So that's actually going to push us into jam number 13, I believe, going into the next jam. We talked about this yesterday, Beta, but this is the advantage of having as many talented people around the arena with keeping track of things and not reliant on the technology. Yes. As long as everyone on the track does know, in fact, what the correct answer is, it's just making the technology reflect that correctly and yep. making sure the paperwork lines up right. That is one of the advantages of having such a great group of NSOs and of skating officials on the track. So just a moment while they continue to wrangle the ones and zeros and make them do what we need it to do to reflect what actually happened on the track. It appears that our scoreboard has updated the jam. So we will be going into jam 13 for this next jam. So now, so now we have a Bay State jammer headed to the box. Stone Fox headed to the box after that previous jam. So quite an unusual situation here. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but I know our trusty officials will explain what is happening to us shortly. So, so one jammer sent, I believe in jam 11 and the 12 and another 12 and the 13 both jammers sitting between jams neither jammer has actually served legitimate time what i believe that means is they both start standing yep. and race towards the line and again i'm very glad i am not the nso who has to figure all of that out because my goodness this is, we talked about it earlier, it's never one thing that happens that's crazy. Nope. It's all the crazy things that happen simultaneously. Yes, everything happening all at once. Skater just taking a, a nice breather while our uh, officials all get in alignment. So the other part, fun part of this for the penalty box manager is this now becomes the auctioneer position of trying to get numbers, colors, and released out as quickly as possible. Yep. And first out of the box we have KP for New Hampshire. Now Stone Fox out of the box as well, hitting the New Hampshire wall at the back. KP doing a star pass to Fearless. Yeah. 
and appears. Stone Fox has lead jammer status. Fearless also out of the pack though, eligible to score now. Stone Fox coming up against some opposition at the front there from penalty Bex and KP. Stone Fox now just up against Mackey. Knocked out of bounds on the inside there. Cycled back. Fear, meanwhile, trying to make that first scoring pass for New Hampshire. And Stone Fox picking up four for Bay State there. Stone Fox coming back up against a New Hampshire tripod at the front. Just two to beat for Stone Fox. Ooh, Fear taking a hit to the inside there from Unholy Ship. Hit to the out. Stone Fox coming back around to try and make a third scoring pass here. <laughs> Stone Fox hit to the outside, cycled back by Jaeger and Smacky of New Hampshire. And that is the end of that jam there. Looks like New Hampshire and Bay State both picked up two in that last pass, bringing our score to Bay State 134, New Hampshire 107. 27 point differential, 14 minutes left in the game. Still anything to happen here at the Dover Ice Arena. And it would appear we have another official timeout, just as we have our NSOs and skating officials regroup. Looks like one of our PLT uh, NSOs conferring with our OPRs to see likely some part of the outcome from the previous jam. Still lined up for jam number 14. Okay, and interesting, Stone Fox sent to the penalty box. Stone Fox becoming fairly familiar with the crash course penalty box this half. That's going to put Death Star on a power start for New Hampshire. New Hampshire lined up for the offense. Pivot line start. Death Star is going to get a run at it. Death Star hits the center of the Bay State tripod. New Hampshire comes in for offense. And Death Star able to come out of the initial with lead. Stone Fox still in the box. This is still a power jam for Death Star. This is Death Star's first scoring trip. Death Star pushing through the Bay State blockers, able to find a hole on the outside with some offensive help from the Bay State blockers. Death Star setting up for a second scoring trip. Death Star cleared but pushed to the outside and recycled all the way back. Stone Fox now in the pack trying to complete her initial. Death Star pushes back towards the end. Burst and Bubbles tries to push it out. But Death Star able to clear. Oh, and Stone Fox exits the pack, takes a nice little hit on Death Star. Stone Fox is going to set up for points, and Death Star calls the jam, though, before Stone Fox can make it back, making that an 8-0 jam for New Hampshire. We get a nice opportunity to start the jam with the penalty box. FD. What is that? I haven't seen that in quite a while. Our uh, NSOs over there might be getting lonely. <laughs> Jamming now, we have 713. 
Allison Wonderslam and 5 2 Terra Nova. That was the whistle. Neither Jammer has moved, and there's Nova taking off. Allison right behind. Both Jammers coming up against a good bit of opposition here. Whoa. Oh, and we have a power jam for Terra Nova. See how New Hampshire is able to capitalize on this opportunity. Oh, Nova sliding to the out there and skating on by, picking up four. New Hampshire lining up for offense here. Bay State trying to collapse on Nova there. Nova trying to find a space to go. New Hampshire lending some offense here. Whoop! Nova taking a fall there. Cycled back. Right back up, though. Uh-oh. Nova taking a fall to the outside. And Allison getting through for that initial pass to be able to score. Nova going to call off the jam there. Picking up another four for New Hampshire, bringing our score to Bay State 134, New Hampshire 123. Yeah, just like that, an 11-point difference again. Head in the jam, 16, 10 minutes remaining. Again, just a nail-biter all the way through. What fun to watch. Dr. Emmett Brown up against Ripley. Both teams' blockers spread out pretty consistently across the track. It's going to be... Dr. M, it's Brown, though, that finds a hole on the inside. Doc Brown is back in for points. He's trying for the out. New Hampshire tripod holding her back. Ripley, though, being sent to the box. Doc Brown on a power jam has just cleared her first scoring trip, setting up for a second. And another New Hampshire blocker headed to the box. Bay State is at quite the advantage here with a power jam and limited blockers. Doc Brown bridges them forward and makes an easy clear through. Bay State setting up again for this third scoring trip. Quick little juke on the outside. Four points go up again. That's up to 12. Power jam still going on. Fourth scoring trip is coming now. Oh, nice offensive hit there from Doc Brown entering the pack. Not able to pass though. Both uh, blockers released from the box. So four blockers on the trap for New Hampshire. Emmett Brown having a little bit of an issue now that the full blocker complement back on the track. New Hampshire doing a good job holding Doc Brown back. But Doc Brown finds the outside line, and that's good for another four points up to 16. Ripley back out on the track, still needs to clear an initial. Bay State doing a good job preventing Ripley from getting out of the initial pass. Doc Brown on her fifth scoring trip so far. That jam runs the time that last trip. One point picked up by Dr. Emmett Brown. That's good for a 17 point jam. Takes Bay State to 151 over New Hampshire, 123. We have a time out New Hampshire. And that is New Hampshire's last team timeout. They still have an official review that they could use as a timeout if they so chose. Friendly reminder for everybody in-house that all of the leads are bringing merch, which will be located in vendor row at the back of the venue. Casco's Bay's merch booth will also have both Casco Bay Roller Derby merch as well as Battle of Bunker Hill specific merch. Quantity of that merch is limited. Anarchy does have a table back there. They still have not released Anarchy branded jorts, and I'm, I've been waiting for years. I want the Anarchy jorts. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. 
but I'm sure they have other great merch that they will be happy to sell you. Oh, yes. Coming up now to jam, we have 255, Hexadecimate, and 6, Death Star. And both jammers are off. Hex looking to find a way through the pack. Whoa. Hit there to Blitzy Borden. But she is back up and good. And Death also out of the pack. Hex with lead, though. Pack moving pretty quick around the track here. And Hex falling to take a knee and calling... Trying to call off the jam, but I'm believing it was because Hex was on their knee. Did not count at the time. I am unsure why. I'm we'll see what happens. But either way, Bay State picking up a one point there. Score is 152 to New Hampshire's 123. On the line, Hydrogen Bomb and Terra Nova. It's Hydrogen Bomb's second jam, I believe, of the game. Terra Nova, though, quick outside line pickup for lead. She's going to come around and set up for a scoring trip. Hydrogen Bomb has the helmet cover off. Terra Nova getting recycling. Successful star pass to BF Skinner, but BF Skinner just took a huge hit on the outside. Able to get back up though, and has cleared her initial. Terra Nova, oh, Terra Nova. Uh, uh, on her second scoring trip, BF Skinner on their first. No points picked up there by Bay State on that trip waiting for the jam ref to see if there was any additional points picked up by Terra Nova on that last trip. Looks like one, one more point, a five nothing jam for Terra Nova and New Hampshire Roller Derby. Jamming now, we have Ripley and Allison Wonderslam. Allison Wonderslam taking the jammer status for Bay State there. Ripley also out of the pack. Pack moving fairly quick once more through that apex. Looking to assume settle in the straightaway here. Yep. Bay State blockers capping a couple of those New Hampshire blockers to get some points for their jammer. And then calls off the jam there. Allison picking up three. Bring our score to base day 155, New Hampshire 128. And the jam number 20. We have Death Star and Dr. M. Hitz Brown. Death and Doc Brown have lined up together before. Both packs squeezing towards the Spectrum Centrum Digital Jammer line. But it's going to be Doc Brown that clears the pack first and grabs lead. Death Star still caught in the back. Ooh, a big hit on the inside, but Death Star's able to hang out through and clear her initial. Doc Brown, though, in for points now. Death Star still needs to catch up. Doc Brown elects to call as she hits the pack. One point for Doc Brown there. No points scored by New Hampshire, taking base state up to 156. Lining up now, we have Nova for New Hampshire and Hex for Bay State. Nova hitting the Bay State tripod at the back here. Hex looking to go against the New Hampshire blockers at the front. Only two blockers to beat for Hex. And Hex is out, picks up lead jammer status. Nova hot on their heels, though. Moving pretty quick here. 
Oh, Ooh. hit to Hex by Smacky there. Hex calls off the jam. Gonna take a second to make sure everyone is A-OK. -okay. And while they do that, we're going to thank our great EMTs and firefighters. Keeping everybody safe here in-house. You guys sound great. And there we go. <laughs> New Hampshire skater back on their feet. I believe that's Mackenzie Phillips being assisted off by our coach. Big thank you to Dover Fire Rescue for keeping us safe all weekend. So Mackenzie Phillips, though, a big player on the New Hampshire side. That's going to be a little bit of a deficit. Three and a half minutes remaining, headed into jam number 22. Lining up for this jam, we have Allison Wonderslam and Ripley. Another surprisingly empty penalty box to start this jam off. <laughs> Skaters all in position. And with that whistle, our jammers are off. Both currently looking to go on the outside. Allison trying to find a spot on the in. Three New Hampshire blockers to beat at the front. And Allison takes the lead jammer status for base state. Whoop, and we have the jammer and pivot for New Hampshire in the box. So Allison has a power jam. Base State lining up for offense here. Trying to help their jammer capitalize and get as many points as possible with this power jam. New Hampshire's tripod here looking to try and stop that. Allison knocked to the out there. New Hampshire losing one blocker just to regain another, it seems. New Hampshire keeping Allison scoreless here for this power jam. Just in time for Ripley to get back on the track. Ripley still looking to make that initial pass, be eligible to score. Allison cycled back once more by the New Hampshire blockers. Ooh, Ripley taking a hit to the inside there by Unholy Ship. We've seen a lot of really good hits by them in this game. Allison leading that first scoring pass, looking to make another. Ripley still trying to complete that first pass. And Ripley is out of the pack. New Hampshire now eligible to score. Allison picking up another four points there with a second scoring pass. 
And Allison calls off the jam before Ripley can pick up points there. Bringing our score to Bay State 164, New Hampshire 128, with New Hampshire calling for an official review. We will give you the details on that shortly once we know them. Yeah, we mentioned New Hampshire's out of time, team timeouts. I did sort of expect maybe they'd use the official as a timeout, but this does look to be like an official review uh, request. So they're going to move towards the center and discuss that with the captains and the officials. Coming up after this game, we have the Philadelphia Hooligans versus Toronto's Men's Roller Derby. That's coming at you right around 1 o'clock p.m. Be sure to check out Casco Bay and Bunker Hill socials for that YouTube link. For those of you in the house, be sure to check out Stone Fire Food Truck outside. It's a perfect time to grab some pizza. It's That's really, really good pizza. It's probably exactly what I'm going to be doing in about a minute and 20 game time. Those garlic fingers are so good. Speak of, speak of the devil. Oh my God. <laughs> That looks so delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's your favorite. What, what, what's rosemary going on? Rosemary apricot? The rosemary apricot is apparently very, very good. It wasn't a combination it's, it's I was good. expecting. It, it, it works. It's, it's a beautiful, it, savory, sweet combination. Amazing dough. What is your stance on pineapple then? I'm a, I'm a pineapple on pizza kind of person. I, I personally can't get behind it. I can see the appeal, but it's not for me. You have to like sweet and savory, right? So peanut butter on burgers. So, uh, can't do peanut yeah, butter. No, it's a sweet, it's a sweet savory thing. You got to like it. But if you're not into the sweet... I didn't hear anything. It turns out New Hampshire there was requesting an illegal reentry on 713. That is Alice in Wonderland for Bay State. Refs found that Alice in Wonderland did concede their place and re-entered properly after that so New Hampshire does not keep the review. Jam number 23 Doc Brown and Terra Nova on the track it's Doc Brown that is able to clear the pack and grab lead status but Terra Nova is right behind her this has become a jammer race the pack has slowed down Doc Brown is in Terra Nova is also in Doc Brown calls it we'll see any point scored, zero for New Hampshire, two up on the board for Bay State, ever increasing their lead. Bay State 166, New Hampshire 128. 38 points between the two teams heading into jam number 24. Coming up now for this jam, we have Terra Nova and Hexadecimus. And both jammers are off. Hex trying to find the outside. Let's see, it looks like Hex made it through just a split second earlier. Nova hot on their heels, though. So just speeding around the track here. Jammers finally caught up to the pack. Nova making it through before Hex. Oh, Hex taking a hit from Fearless there. Back up now. Hex calling it off. That'll be the end of that jam and the end of our game. Give the officials a moment to finalize scores. While we're waiting, don't forget, check out Casco Bay and Battle of Bunker Hill Socials. Next up, Philadelphia Hooligans versus Toronto Men's Roller Derby coming right at you. We'll just need a bit for our teams to warm up and reset. That link will be posted on our socials. Be sure to check us out there. Final score coming your way in just a minute. 